you will often find questions around Paris in TSA rounds if they are appearing for a front-end interview. Don't worry, I am here to help you crack your dream job. My name is Vedant and you are watching the JavaScript Add Equation series on JS Cafe. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So today we are going to solve a very famous question on array that is a lead code 217 contains duplicate. Given an integer array nums return true. If any value appears at least twice in the array, return false if element is distinct. What it means that is we have to return true if there if the array contains duplicate numbers. See at least twice in the array. Or we have to return false if the array does not contain the duplicate. So let us have a look at this example. You can see that this array contains 1, 2, 3, 1. So 1 and 1 are the repeating elements. So we, re we return true because it contains duplicate. And for example 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. None of the elements are repeating. So we have to return false. And the constants are 1. Uh, 2 and per 5 and then outside and per 9 to minus 10 per 9. So the approach uh, is two ways. One is the very uh, like basic approach and one is the clever one. So let me uh, take you to the whiteboard and explain how we can do uh, the basic approach. So let us first of all uh, take this example and paste it. So this is our data and let me grab the pen. Cool. So the idea is that first of all, we will create a map as usual and we will start iterating over the numbers uh, from the array. So first we will get one at index zero. Okay. And we will change that if one is present in the map or not. We see we go to map, we see that the map, uh, the map is empty. So we put one over here against the uh, value, let's say true. Okay, this is a value true. And again, we move to next index. We come to two at index one. And we check that if two is present in the map or not. Two is not present. And we go ahead and add a two. And the value is true. We can put any value over here for simplicity. I'm putting true over here. And then we move to next next index. We get three at index two. And we check that if three is present in the map or not, it is not present. And we go ahead and add the three into the map. We, we add a value true again. And then we move on to next number. Now we get one at index three. We check that if one is present in the map or not. We go ahead and see, oh, it is present, already present, which means that it is it is a duplicate number. It is a duplicate number. Then what we do? We return true. If this one was not present in the map, we do nothing. We go ahead and add a one and uh, add a value true, and then we return false. We return false once we have completed iterating over the every element and we have not found anything in the map, which means that no duplicate was found. So we have to return false after iterating over it. So this was a basic approach. Now let us quickly write the code for it. So as you know, we have to go and send it JavaScript. And let me create a map first. First to enable math. And I will start iterating over the elements of the array or all stand of numbers. Now I will check that if map dot has and then return so if it is a new element we found then we are going to set the value in the map and if we passed iterating all the elements uh, in the array, we will return false. Now let us try to run this code. Okay, it was accepted. Let us try to submit and see. 
good it was accepted and we beat around 75.67 percent great so the time complexity is big o of n because we are iterating over the elements and uh, in this one uh, space complexity we are creating a map so again big o of n is a time a space complexity is there any better way to accomplish it yes there is so you know that we have a concept of sets in javascript so set is basically uh, if you convert an array into a set the set actually contains only the unique elements and not a duplicate ones so that is the property of set so if i somehow create a set out of this array okay and then i compare the length of set with the length of the array so if both of the lengths are equal which means that the array did not contain any duplicate element but if somehow the length of set was less than than the length of the array then it means that there were some duplicate elements present in the num in the nums array so we have to what return true so let us try to implement it so let me create a set const set equals to new set and we will create a set out of nums this will create a set out of the nums array now i will directly compare the length of the set and the length of the array so set dot size is what we use to get the length of the set and if the size of the set is not equals to length of the array which means that there was a duplicate then we have to return true right let us try to run it perfect and let us try to submit it and see if it is working cool this was much faster right we increased our uh, speed by per se 10 percent so this was a pretty quick solution a pretty smart one because uh, we converted this all uh, one two three or what whatsoever lines of code into just two lines of code and this is what makes you stand out in your interviews okay so this was a uh, pretty great stuff but again if you are given with a question okay don't directly jump to this particular solution okay first try to implement this uh, and tell the interviewer this is the solution which you are thinking of implement it and then say that you have a better approach you can improve it then you write this code okay this is small bug so in this we uh this is also fine okay so i hope you like this video um feel free to ask any questions in the comments and uh yeah this was all in this video till then take a goodbye see you in the next one oh.